I'm gonna try and replicate these rooms as much as I can, but we just need to remember that, you know, they're not twins, they're sisters. Ooh, number two, you are bougie. A, B, or C, which one? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Rebecca here, and of course, if you are new here, welcome, come on in. So today, we are gonna be doing another Sims 4 build challenge, but we are gonna be using Pinterest for our building challenge today. So I have selected three pictures for the outside of what our build is gonna be, and of course three pictures for each and every room so basically we are going to be replicating the outside to the pictures from interest and replicating the pictures from the inside but the spinning wheel is gonna pick so it's gonna be another real to life challenge so without further ado let's get into today's Pinterest real to life floor plan challenge so my boyfriend picks all of these pictures that I have to replicate today of course for the outside and the inside we have three images so one two and and three and then we're gonna spin the wheel and the spinning wheel is gonna decide which number equals which image we're gonna use so first things first we need to see what number we're gonna get for the outside we've got build one build two and build three listed here so now I'm gonna spin the wheel and see what number we're gonna get okay let's go let's go let's go build number two Wow so we've got build number two and I really like this build it's actually really cute. I mean, all of the builds that we kind of got were all kind of like extra and very cool. So now I'm going to try and do the outline of this. And of course, it's going to be on a lake. So this is kind of like the outline that I have first. But I have a feeling that right now there isn't enough room because I'm going to be running, of course, the lake all the way across here. As you can tell from the image, it is quite a big lake and... We still need to do the roofing and everything else. So I feel like, yeah, we're going to move to another lot. Move it to another lot and I'm just finishing off the landscaping because that's one thing I wanted to put in. And there's actually Sims living on this lot. So they're going to have a bit of a treat, hopefully, if this build actually turns out okay. It is amazing how much landscaping can really change a build because this is coming on okay. I'm feeling all right about this one. And roofing isn't really my, you know, speciality kind of thing. But as I can tell from the picture, that is roofing all the way along the side so I'm gonna give that a go and see what that looks like honestly I just need to add this little bit at the top and I was thinking maybe I can pull this down yes so this could go well there and for this side we can't actually see anything in the picture for this side but I can kind of see like a little bit of a roof hanging down so I think I'm just gonna use like a half cabled roof for this and then we'll match everything else up I'm kind of happy with that then I've done like a little Porsche section here just that goes all the way around and then we've got a couple of trees so it kind of mimics everything else we're gonna use my favorite curly wood for the decking area can you tell while i like it so much yes these garage doors are gonna act as of course our little boating area i mean i tried to mimic it as much as i could they are kind of like glitching out cc recently like since the update of course has never been the same for me when it comes to some of my windows and doors there is one two three four doors <laughs> for this house including the front door so that is a lot just adding doors everywhere i've just done all the inside so all the archways and all of the doors so far so good oh and of course we need a ladder for this random room which i have no idea what it's gonna be and this is the build for the outside so i just added a few little outside bits and bobs i saw like a couple of like lounges so i thought that'd be quite nice so i put plenty of seating areas down so now we're gonna go on to the inside i'm super excited and of course we're gonna start in the kitchen so we've got one two or three so it could be any of these kitchens spin the wheel and see what pinterest picture we're gonna get hey let's go let's go let's go number one so we got number one and actually number one is actually super kind of vibrant i like the blues and the oranges i'm gonna try and replicate these rooms as much as i can but we just need to remember that you know they're not twins they're sisters i feel like these counters could be the one guys definitely in fact if i shimmy this across we might actually be able to fit in the stove because there's a stove here and then there's a large cupboard kind of like a cabinet here because that kind of like looks like the picture and then they also have like white cabinets going along here and a lot of shelves one big one and one small one and then a sink goes in 
just about here. Considering I haven't gone CC shopping prior to this challenge, I'm pretty impressed with what I've got so far. And lastly, I just need some chopping boards. Orange, orange, orange. Because of course they have like orange chairs going around. And I think oh, these, these could actually be the best ones ever. And for this side, because it's kind of like a blind spot, we can't see anything. I'm just going to put in the traditional washing machines on this section. Pretty impressed with this room. Like, I feel like I tried to match it as much as I could. So, of course, this is the kitchen area around here. I wasn't sure what to add, so I just add a couple of, like, kitchen, you know, washing machines. We've got, like, a shelf going on. We've got some curtains up. Because it is right here, I'm going to go into the bathroom. So, for our bathroom, is it going to be one, two, or three? Let's spin the wheel and have a look. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go it's gonna be a one i feel like what we've got at the moment could kind of work could kind of work it's just finding out where i need to put the toilet and everything else i think i might actually put my counters on this side so now we need to see if we actually have some nice green counters <laughs> these might actually match it a lot better well, of course for the shower as well maybe we could put like the toilet on this side and then of course this is the sink so maybe we don't have room for a bath or anything but that's fine let's have a look at the shower and actually that shower looks like the is it season shower yeah yeah, kind of bang on to that actually. Oh, so we give them the new snowy escape toilet. I mean, that toilet is epic. Looking for those spa day towels. Where are you? There we are. Perfect, perfect. Because of course, in the picture, we had these down. So I was thinking maybe in the corner there. We need to make everything, you know, just a little bit more zen. We need a candle. This is the end result for our shower room. Hopefully it's kind of similar. I really, really enjoyed doing this room. In fact, I'm enjoying the whole challenge right now. And the next room we're going to go into, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go into the lounge. One, two, or three so we got three of these lounge choices from pinterest let's spin the wheel and see what lounge we're gonna get just keep spinning just keep spinning we got number two. Oh, number two you are bougie i didn't think i was gonna see bougie today but i did it just keeps coming back to me so this room as you can tell is a little bit extra there's a lot of like beige and grays it's very grand compared to the rest of the house i think i'm gonna go for like a beige kind of carpet so different to the whole house in fact what about this this could work this could actually work i knew this would honestly go like 100 this is the sofa for this room and i think i'm gonna kind of do a beige on the picture it is kind of like beigey gray so maybe we will change the swatch these look like the lamps that are on each side i know they're kind of like connected to the wall but they're the closest they're definitely the closest i'm gonna make them at these size and we'll put this each side and then that's kind of that done and then we kind of need to put some candles down and of course we need that rug i don't know if i can find something that's gonna match how bougie that rug is however this could in fact work in the corner i noticed like a trophy and i think i think this is something similar oh okay dilemma dilemma there isn't really any big square mirrors really Ooh, uh, they're not very grand either. I mean, this is probably the closest that we're going to get. And then this is our very bougie lounge that we've got here. So it kind of does match pretty well. I'm pretty impressed. I must admit, I'm feeling a little bit extra right now. We just have some paintings and this painting is so expensive. It's the cat painting, but I love it. It's just a very grand in here. So next up, I think we're going to go into the study. So we've got study one study two and study three so which one will it be one two or three so we've got number two number two so this room oh what way could i put it we could kind of put like the desk up on this wall or maybe on this wall i did have a door here where am i gonna put it i don't know if i'm gonna have like a small door or a big door 
then maybe we'll use this section for where we're gonna put our desk. So for this room, it's kind of like very dark wooden flooring. I would kind of say this, this is kind of creepy wooden flooring. The walls are just white, I believe. Yeah, just white. But I am gonna find that very large rug. If we can find one similar, it's kind of like a brown, very large rug. And it pretty much covers the whole of the room. I'm pretty happy with this one. And now, of course, we need to go in and get a thousand paintings on the wall. I'm just gonna size them down. Of course, we have like a long strip painting on this side. That's kind of like the closest that I could get. So now I'm literally just gonna add so many different paintings. So many fun paintings actually. Like there's some really like epic pictures here. Some snowy escape pictures. And of course now we've got like a funky cowboy picture too, which is kind of fun. It's a brown desk. And there isn't actually any computers in here. So technically is this a study? I don't know. <laughs> For the chair. I don't think there's anything quite similar to that chair. I mean, we have several different ones. We've got this chair. I mean, any brown chair will look okay. This lampshade reminds me of like the Toy Story lampshade, you know, the Pixar kind of lamp. Then that desk area is down. I'm just adding a very small plant and we've got a very funky painting on this side. And then this is our study complete with a lot and a lot of pictures our desk we didn't kind of find that chair but that's all good and we still have our very funky pixar lamp so i'm pretty happy with that one so next up we are gonna spin for our lounge and this is the last room downstairs like boy this is a very big house so for our dining room are we gonna have dining room number one dining room number two or dining room number three let's spin the wheel and have a look Spin, 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 spin. Dining room number three. Dining room number three. It's very like boho, which I really like. But at the same time, I don't quite know how I'm going to position everything. So it's all good. I think I'm going to place... I'm gonna face it, what way should I face it? Maybe I should face it this way. So the dining room table is here. And then of course we have the pictures on this side. So the picture for the table wasn't very noticeable. So we've just got this brown table here. So we've got A, B or C, which one? We'll go for these ones, there we go. These ones on this side, won't do two on this side because they only actually have three on the other side. And then this is one thing I've been so excited about is that leaf painting because everybody knows that leaf painting. This one? Oh, there is another one. Oh, actually, maybe that one too. As you can see on this side of the room, there's like a shelf with like plants and everything. And of course, like a cabinet. I think I'm going to put it on this side. But instead of putting like the shelf with all the plants, maybe we can put all the shelves and planting on this side because it is pretty bland there. Also, because we have a little bit of space on this section i'm just gonna add kind of like a small bar if i can squeeze it in and of course yeah it has a lovely swatch on it and then this is the outcome of the dining room and i actually really like this dining room I really do. I really like the leaf section here. I think that's really cute. And then of course we do have a lot of plants in here because otherwise it would have been a little bit bare. I mean, what do we do when a place is bare? You add some plants. We are now onto the upstairs where we have the last room in the house, which is our one and only bedroom. We do have an ensuite as well, but I just mimicked the downstairs to the upstairs for the bathroom. So are we gonna get bedroom number one, bedroom number two, or bedroom number three? Three. Let's spin the wheel and find out. Okay, bedrooms, what is it gonna be? Bedroom number one. Bedroom number one is again a bougie bedroom. I mean, bougie, bougie, bougie. I think the wallpaper is, I'm gonna go for this. And then I stole the same carpet that we use for our very bougie lounge downstairs. But I'm gonna make this more like a beigey kind of golden. And then the bed as well. Like, I don't wanna use kind of like that cheap looking, even though it's not a cheap looking bed, you know, the get famous kind of bougie bed. I don't think I wanna go that bougie but at the same time we need something that's quite similar so ones that are similar is this one even vintage glamour but at the same time, I don't really like that board. I kind of like the base game. This is kind of nice. But even in fact, the university one, we could use this because then we can kind of make the drapery at the top somehow with some curtains. Let's have a little look. So something very bougie to make kind of like that canopy style. Oh, this is getting terribly bougie. Like it's not my favorite at all. <laughs> 
but at the same time I do want to make it kind of similar maybe this one could be better we have these drapes as our curtains at the same time so it's kind of going well it's not exactly the bed that I was looking for but you know it will do these lamps each side will make it very cozy in here we just need a bedside table and the bedside table that they had it kind of had like drapes on it at the same time but oh no we're gonna have to try and think of something else another option for that at the end of the bed there's like an ottoman so we can kind of use that at the end of the bed i'm liking this outcome and then i'm gonna steal the rug that is downstairs and i'm gonna have it upstairs i think i'm just gonna shrink it down and change the color okay so we don't have any of those nice plush cushions i mean my cc doesn't go that far so thinking if i small down this this could go kind of nice because there is one at the end of the bed on the ottoman and in the picture and there's also like a very small one of these as well like on the bed if i type in pillow will my cc help me out please yes lots and lots of pillows just you know i don't know how this looks but <laughs> i'm just trying to give the impression of lots of pillows maybe this guy has a painting of himself in his bedroom or in fact you know it could be her late husband but i mean look at that cat and this my bougie friends is our last bedroom in the house and this was definitely our bougie bedroom so of course we've got the canopy on this side it's very cozy in here and then that was the last room in the house of course we had this little top bit up here and i wasn't sure what i could make this into so i just turned this into kind of like a little like rooftop snug so that was the end of pinterest decides my build real to life sims where I try to replicate the outside of my build and of course every room. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!